Hey all here are OS Reviews. A few months back we did a review on a mini laser engraver from KK Moon, and you guys liked it so much that it's actually been sold out. So in the meantime I've been told to check out a alternative to this KK Moon unit. It's another mini laser engraver which if you're unfamiliar or haven't seen our original video allows you to print uh, kind of custom patterns onto different surfaces like wood or plastic. If you like 3D printers and you enjoy getting your hands on DIY type projects, then this is another type of uh, product that could be worth taking a closer look at. And then here are some demos of the types of content that you can engrave, including wood, to create different stamps, creating different logos, and carvings. Now this butterfly that you see is actually part of the QC testing. So they actually printed this using this uh, device to just see if it's actually working or not. It passed this machine test and then proceeded to be packaged up and then sent to you. So this device does have a bed that is made out of a polycarbonate plastic that you can again rest any material on, but uh, the difference immediately compared to the KK Moon is that this one is doesn't have anything on the base, so it allows you to perhaps print on a larger surface by moving it around, uh, and it's not fixed. So actually the base is motorized as well. If we zoom all the way in, we can see its tracks. It's able to change its X and Y positions. Speaking of the printer head, you can see it on the edge here. And just like before, you can actually focus it just by twisting this dial. Uh, again, you have to focus it depending on the distance away from whatever you're printing on. And uh, at the optimal kind of focus, that's when it's able to engrave a pattern. If it's out of focus, sometimes as we learn from our KK Moon, uh, it would not uh, actually engrave a mark that's uh, hard enough. Now on the side here, we also have the USB connection, just like on lots of printers. We've got our power plug, and on the very top there's a red key that acts as a power on and power off. The unit does also have fans on the top and on the bottom that will spin to try and cool off the uh, laser beam to prevent it from overheating and to prevent the smoke that it can generate from the carving from uh, damaging the print. And looking inwards, we can see that aforementioned fan and how that works. The only thing that you need to install yourself is some of the protective uh, covers, uh, which are made out of plastic like on the KK Moon there so that it protects your eyes because the laser beam is very bright and you don't want to be glaring into it. And that's what the accessories of the second cardboard box contains. So opening it up we have a separate container with some sample materials that you can print on. You get more than I did with the KK Moon. There's even a plastic mini keychain that you get and we also get a CD driver that you can install on your computer. You simply pop it in the correct orientation and it just attaches on like so. Now just a closer look at its design, the body of the NEJ is still made out of plastic. It looks like metal just because it has more of industrial sharp edges, but it is indeed just polycarbonate like the KK Moon. It is slightly heavier though because it has a base uh, which is fully enclosed. Looking at the CD contents, there is a PDF that tells you how to install things. Basically you have to install the driver first by clicking on this, and next you open up the application. So actually you don't need to install the app on your computer, it's simply stored on the CD and you simply click on it whenever you need it and it will open up uh, into this interface that allows us to see if the printer is connected. Right now it isn't and you're able to load back the images and begin a print. You can change the quality of the print and uh, take a look at some sample images that they already have here. As we learned previously if using our own image and we have something inverted so that the background is black this takes a really long time because it has to take a lot of uh, back and forth multiple layers to get this uh, color versus something that's only uh, the shadows and uh, mostly made out of lines and the background is still white, it actually will not take that long to complete the print. Now one thing I want to point out here is there's a third tab on the top that is the control and from here you can actually see if you want to print a specific text as opposed to an image. You can clear this board, you can also change the dimensions of the base. So say I wanted to engrave this cute little Pikachu, I can actually change the shape to make it a little bit smaller in terms of width and the height, and I can also tap on the square to see visually uh, what uh, that area corresponds to. So I can tap on this here, and the motor begins moving, so we can see that uh, immediately this is kind of the area that it encompasses, and I can move the paper accordingly if I find that it's actually not uh, properly aligned.
Our sample print has finished, and actually the power button is backlit, so you can see it in the dark. Some reflections and takeaways, here is our completed print. It actually has done a fairly respectable job, I'd say, and it definitely is very much legible. Now, actually our first print of the regular Pikachu failed. <laughs> the reason is because I didn't actually tape this onto the board, and as such, because the board itself does move to position itself, it slides around, and of course we get this kind of a uh, hallucinatory effect. Tape is not something that you have to use on the KK Moon, by the way, because again, the base itself remains flat. So that is one difference uh, with this motorized base. You really have to make sure whatever you're printing doesn't move around, and as such, you do need to apply a little bit of tape. Fine details are easily legible, and this particular print took us about uh, seven minutes to finish. So that's actually pretty quick. Again, there's not too much shading in terms of dark lines that it has to color in, so it's relatively quick. But if it was doing kind of a negative print, that would be significantly longer. Uh, in our previous example with the KK Moon, this image here took, in fact, a few hours to finish versus just the lines, again, took roughly just 30 minutes. Really, it's just a difference of the design on the outside. I think that the hardware of the NE uh, SE is definitely better than the KK Moon. It comes with more accessories like protective glasses, dry erase markers, more materials, and this magnetic door, which I think is better designed. The program itself also works well enough and really have no complaints as far as these budget engravers go. I think the effect is already quite good. The only slight downside is I did encounter a one instance where during a print, uh, the program actually uh, closed by itself. It shut down. However, the print still resumed on the uh, engraver until it fully finished. So it seems like uh, sometimes the program might uh, seemingly disappear or close itself out, but once you open it up again, you'll find that the print is still going on in the background. So not sure if that's a slight bug from the app, uh, but overall it doesn't really distract from the functionality of the print, so I'll give it a pass. So as the advertised kind of replacement for the KK Moon, I think this is a very valid alternative and uh, overall the printing experience is set up, it's all very seamless and really fun to play around with. Of course the KK Moon is a little bit cheaper and also does have the, the base being completely empty. The benefit there is you can actually print on a larger canvas. The new version here is better if you're printing on smaller devices or smaller surface areas better construction quality as well. The KK Moon does feel a bit more flimsy by comparison just because it's lighter and the plastic doesn't seem quite as uh, high grade or uh, sturdy. You can check out more details if interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. It's been the NEJE 10,000 milliwatt mini laser engraver.